Right, good to see you again. Hope, you, hope you're all keeping well. Um, I brought you along today. This is uh, the latest setup I've had. I've had out now for about ten days. I've been trying to get a shot of a fox in the fox gloves, which I'm afraid hasn't come off. Um, well, that's camera trapping. That's, a, that's just how it is. I did, however, get this nice consolation image of a, a young badger that came along and, and triggered the camera, as well as the obligatory images of the, my two assistants as I was setting up. What I wanted to discuss with you, I thought I'd just offer you this little tip. Um, the first three nights uh, this setup was out, uh, I checked it after the weekend and the first weekend and um, I had about 40 or 50 um, triggers uh, had gone off on the on the uh, on the camera trap and um, looking through on the screen um, through the pictures you couldn't see anything on them but what, the, what they were uh, now and again you could see there were, there were wood mice that were just triggering triggering the sensor all the time and um, like I say, this was happening around around uh, 10, 15 times a, a night, which is not not good, really. Not only is it not good for your battery life, you know, it, it's using up the batteries in your flashes and and in all your triggers. Um, but what it does, any, any uh, wildlife that's in the area, if your flashes are going off every 20 minutes, half an hour throughout the night, and any wildlife in the vicinity is probably going to stay well away so um, what I did because there's such a wide range this is the contra contraptions v3 um, sensor you can close the barn doors to try and eliminate some of, some of the mouse activity but what you get is is a long strip of area of sensitivity if you like so what I did I just knocked up this little it's a little homemade a little homemade snoot just to go over the top of the trigger just which just slips on see there we go that just pops over the top and what that does is it concentrates the detection zone into a almost a narrow beam it allows you a lot more accuracy <clears throat> and um, so I always like to get it aiming as accurately as I possibly can and what I do with this if I'm after foxes or badgers I'll set the the sensor just slightly below the um, the height you know what I expect the foxes or badgers because the detection zone is a lot more concentrated it allows you a lot more accuracy and anything walking underneath is not going to trigger it which uh, proved to be the case this time so as I say, said earlier I had about 40 to 50 actuations of triggers in the first three nights and I, I popped this I popped this on my sensor after a few nights and in the last six or seven nights I've only had four images and all four of them were badges that had triggered it not one not one of the mice so uh, it's a great way of focusing the detection zone on the uh, on your sensor, it can um, it can save a lot of batteries, and and it could look like you say it's not you're not you haven't got your sensor triggering every half an hour and, and frightening everything off. So uh, you know if you've got an hour or two to spare, just knock yourself one up. Uh, it's pretty simple. The main body is an old plastic carton. Uh, the snoop part is the container from a 35 mil film cartridge and it's just all covered in a little bit of camouflage t uh, tape and I've just stapled a little bit of elastic on the side so it slips over the PAR sensor. It works a treat and I recommend you know the more accurate you can get your detection then you know the better it can be like you say you can you can fill your memory card up with a, with a lot of false false triggers and uh, it's, it just, it's just a great way of, of uh, eliminating that. So I hope you found that useful. And uh, get out and give it a go. And um, I'm packing, I'm packing in, packing all my stuff down now. 
from this setup because I was hoping to get a shot of the fox in the fox gloves, but the, the fox the fox gloves are now gone past their best. They're, they're all going to seed. So I'm going to take all this down today now and find somewhere else to set it up. And um, I'll take you along if I have any success. Hopefully I'll catch you catch you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.